Now I like sausages and I like Richmond sausages and I like baked beans. So look what I found, it's both in a tin. Now is this just a ploy to get people to buy? You put on Richmond pork sausages, which people like. You add it into Heinz baked beans, which most people like. Voila, let's charge a fortune, two pounds. Okay, that's quite a bit when you can get a tin of baked beans for like 55p or even less. Is this just a ploy to get people to buy it? Of course it is. Are the sausages gonna be as good as you'd have on your fry up in the kitchen? I very much doubt it. These Richmond sausages aren't gonna be very good. Now I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon. I've seen quite a few reviews of these and people are slagging them off saying they're rubbish. Am I gonna do the same? Well, I'm gonna be honest. I've got my doubts, I must admit. I mean, come on, let's get real. It's in a tin. How good can they be? Let's have a closer look. Well, there's not going to be that much to see on the tin, but I suppose we better take a quick look. So, in a rich tomatoey sauce, Richmond pork sausages, and it's a new improved recipe. Hmm, interesting. Let's have a look. So, per half a can, uh, you know, they're all green, they're not bad. Salt, 29%, of course, what do you expect? Uh, for 15 grams, and it's uh, high in protein, low in sugar. Okay, so we've got the nutritional stuff here. As you'd imagine. And um, beans means bangers. What's better than bangers and mash? Bangers and beans. So they've brought together two of the nation's favourites. Deliciously rich saucy beans and juicy Richmond sausages. Yeah, I got that. Uh, and what's the sausages? What percentage is that? Pork sausages, 42%. 42%. Um, you can either do it in the old microwave or hob. I'm going to heat these up gently in the hob. On the hob, in the hob, should I say. Got the old ring there. All right, let's give it a taste. There we go. So you can see there's a few sausages kicking around in there. All out, pretty much it. Yep, so there's your sausages there. And uh, let me get a little thing out. I'll show you a sausage. So a sausage here. There we are. So they look, to be honest with you, they just look like any other sausage I've seen. They look like hot dog sausages. So we've got the old baked beans. How many sausages we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that under there? Uh, seven, I think. Right, let's heat it up. So I'm gently heating it. I've turned that down a bit because it is quite strong. Um, oh no, we've got eight. I found another one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One must have been hiding. Eight. Do you count eight? Let me know. Four, five, six. Yeah, it's eight of them. Sausages are white. But you know, they might taste all right. Okay, let's uh, pour them in. So they've been simmering nicely, so they're nice and warm. So obviously it smells just like a normal tin of baked beans, really, doesn't it? With a hint of sausage, you know, you get that sort of, you know, the typical hot dog sort of smell, you know? So baked beans are as you would normally, you know, as you'd normally think they would be. Yeah, I miss. I noticed that there was a sausage. I'd, so leave in the comments. I did see that sausage. I mean, I just there was a sausage facing right at me, and I didn't count it, did I? Before, but yeah, there's eight. Um, right, here we go. So this is the finished product. Hold on to your hats. Du, du, du. Actually, just before I taste it, I thought it might be helpful if I dissect a sausage. Do you think? And I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. Should I choose this one? So. 
Mm, yeah, they're very soft. So this is your sausage. They feel like mash. Yeah, it just goes straight through. Did you see the um did you see the close off of the sausage? What did you think? Not that great, eh? Alright, let's have a look. I'm gonna try sausage. God. You are got to be kidding me. If you put the sausage in your mouth and push it with your tongue against your teeth, it just dissolves. That's how they taste just like the normal hot dog sausages. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to give that to your kids or not. I don't know if the kids would even eat it. That, putting Richmond sausages on front of the tin, is a joke. If I, if I was Richmond Sausage Company, I'd be ashamed that my sausages were like that. I mean, they're just soggy. They're obviously just been soaked in that, you know, that bean juice for God knows how long. They're not even, in fact, I'd say the normal sausages are nicer than that, that I've had in other tins. Mingan, absolutely mingan, those sausages. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I know I exaggerate a bit, but. No. No, not for me. Not for me. Sorry. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. I'm done. I'll see you on the next review.